Epigeal germination is a type of germination where the cotyledons are pushed above the ground as the hypocotyle elongates. The word epi means above or over and geal means earth or soil. Hence, the cotyledons are pushed out and they remain above the soil. Epigeal germination is observed in seeds like bean, gourd, castor and many more. Germination begins with growth of radical followed by arched growth of hypocotyle forming a loop above the soil. Hypocotyle then straightens bringing the cotyledons out of soil. The cotyledons will fall off after the foliage leaves grow. Hypogeal germination is a type of germination where the cotyledons remain under the soil and the epicotyle elongates. The word hypo means below or under and geal means the earth or soil. Hence, the cotyledons here remain under the soil surface. Hypogeal germination is observed in seeds like maize, rice, pea and many more. Germination begins with the growth of radical whereas the plumule grows upwards and forms the shoot of the seedling. The cotyledons supply food till the seedling is able to exist independently. Later, they wither and shrivel up. Viviparous germination is a special type of germination seen in mangrove plants like Rhizophora and Sonaracea. The word viviparous means the ability to produce live young ones. In viviparous germination, the seed germinates inside the fruit while it is still attached to the parent plant. The embryo is nourished by the parent plant till it becomes a seedling. These seedlings then fall off into the soft soil around the plant. As the seedling has become dart-like, they immediately get fixed into the soft soil and develop a root system there. Some seedlings may float in water and reach a place with shallow waters and settle down in the soft soil. Subscribe the channel BioLearn for more biology videos.